Hello YouTube, I am Pinstar, and this is Banished Strategy and Tactics, episode 46. So, um, when we left off with our intrepid village, uh, village, town, city, I forget the distinction we are currently at, the middle one. When we left, when we uh, last left our, uh, village of Fick Ficklewood, we, uh, we were building out there the fourth and final city center right here. Uh, getting ourselves basically maximizing for uh, housing population here is sort of what we're going for. So I'm going to go ahead and kick the simulation off here. I'm also experimenting with a, uh, a mass production of firewood here. We've got seven, uh, seven woodcutters, and if this were completely flat ground, we could have eight woodcutters here. We... Um, and we've got the maximum number of vendors possible in this market. The idea behind it being that they're going to constantly be fetching a steady stream of logs. And all of these woodcutters are going to be able to grab the logs from here um, and be able to deposit their chopped firewood here. So uh, well, this, uh, this is looking pretty darn busy, uh, to say the least. Uh, plenty of firewood, that's uh, that's for certain. Let me see, do we have logs here? Here, yeah. oh, we have logs, but they are quickly being used up, understandably so. But yeah, this place is this place is busy, so I'm glad I built it there. All right, let's take a look at our uh, other statistics. Our food is holding steady. Our wood is a little on the low side. I went through uh, off screen uh, to a couple of our. Uh, trading posts and told them to start ordering logs. Yes, we have plenty of forests. We have entire hubs devoted to forests, but doesn't it's not quite enough to sate our uh, appetite. I do have to say, however, that the uh, the the woodcutter little uh, roundabout here is doing well. I have not seen our firewood climb to, to uh, above two thousand in quite some time. We are always kind of scraping around the the you know the 1000 mark or so so that's a that's a good thing that it's climbing that high it's also probably why our logs are having difficulty climbing high enough then we built a whole uh buttload of uh new buildings here um all right so let's see you got more people dying and being born let me take a look at some of my statistics here how am i doing on food Produced and used. I am still. I'm still using. I am still using more food than I am producing. And being that I just built a whole bunch of houses, that probably going to mean a wave of babies, which means we need to uh, focus our attention back on food production. So that, because my the ideal is that once we fill out this map, it's uh, we we're making enough food to feed our people. We do not want starvations uh, hampering our. Uh, our uh, city in the longer term. So what I think I'm going to do here is I think I'm going to uh, make use of the river here and get some fishing on. Now these aren't uh, picture perfect ideal fishing spots, but we've got population to spare. And uh, I think we can make them happen. That way, no, uh, no, no bit of uh, river will remain unfished. That, that got that guy there going there. Oops. Beautiful. Died of a weak heart. Huh. I wonder what the weak heart signifies. If, I wonder if it might be healthcare, possibly. Maybe, maybe, kind of, sort of? I don't know. I have not seen the weak heart before. I mean, I've, I've, I've seen it before on the boards, but I've not seen it here in Ficklewood. Ah, uh, annoys me to no end. Why can't I just make a tunnel there? Probably annoys the people of Ficklewood to no end, too. This is like a major thoroughfare. You know what? I'm going to do a little more putzing to see if I can't make this thing happen. Nope, nope. It's probably these stupid fields. Yeah, you know what? You're gonna go away, fields. 
Yes, yes, I know I just put some of you out of a job. I will rectify that. But we have a tunnel to build. Aha! Okay, I think that uh, that tunnel that we just laid down will see some use. There. That should get some builders on that. And hopefully people will stop having to walk over the mountain constantly. It's just annoying to look at, and it's probably annoying to walk over the mountain constantly. Okay, so we just axed a couple of fields. Let's go do something about that. All right, let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to continue with my fishing uh, spam here. I nope, don't want to uh, don't want to interrupt the the hero fishing dock here. Yeah, get you there. Oh yeah, that's the little inlet there. That's too bad. That'd be a good pl place for it. But nope, can't fit it. Uh, probably put a little. F yeah, I can. Now that I'm not being quite as picky about my fishing dock locations, I can put them. Uh, in a few more robust locations. Okay. And, oh yeah, we, we need to add some fishermen. For some silly reason. Can't imagine why. Okay, so fishing docks, fishing docks, fishing docks. Bet you I could get away with one over here. And that way it's night right next to the uh, storage barn. Um, this is a pretty remote area. Looks like it should be right for a fishing dock if I can fit it. I can. Got a fishing dock over there. Can I squeeze one in here? Yes, I can. Why didn't I ever squeeze one in here? Oh boy. <laughs> you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Yep. It's like a horde of lemmings. All marching together at the exact same pace in a big bunched up group. Alright, give me the ding. Give me the ding. Boop. Alright, well how many you think you got how many guys how many do you think they're gonna be here? I'm gonna guess well it's gotta be over a hundred. Hundred and twenty. Not bad. Well what do you say? I think we can handle them. And we haven't denied them yet, so in you go. Oh, and we just got ourselves an achievement. Woo! -hoo! All right, we are now the town of Ficklewood. Sweet. We have just passed the 900 citizen mark. All right. So I am sorry I doubted that, but we have achieved the largest size. We are now officially a town. That makes me very happy. Um, and we've got some housing problems. So let's build some houses. Even though I just said earlier in the episode that <laughs> we are uh, going to need to worry about food. But you know what? We're going to worry about houses. You know what, this is like a nice, perfect row for boarding houses. It's like perfect spacing right there. So a couple boarding houses. Then let's get some houses proper. Right there. And draw a road up between them like so. Oh, that's annoying. All right, all right. So it's not the it's not the most pretty of uh, housing blocks. But hey, that's what urban sprawls all about, eh? There, little little cul-de-sac 
type. No, courtyard is what I'm going for. And there, good, good, good. And one, two, three, four, five. Nope, nope, can't make that happen. That's fine. And move you up. There, that should be enough building projects to have my builders occupied. Um, yeah, and, and the interesting part, and I'm, I'm curious about this in terms of how this, how it, um, see, we're, we're technically running at a deficit, uh, quite a bit of a deficit uh, in our food production, but that doesn't necessarily mean our food income see we're trading for so much food i have all of my docks on auto trade for fruits vegetables and grains the only one i'm not auto trading for is meat because meat's expensive uh, and i don't want to have to pay for that um, and we are producing quite the uh, bit of alcohol thanks to our booze blocks here uh, which, by the way, let's check in on these things, How see how they're doing. So the booze block uh, couplet that I have here, um, 350 ale previous season, that's not too shabby. And how about this booze block XL, 170. Hmm. Well, let's, 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 um, 140 and 230. Well, it looks like from prelim preliminary analysis, the uh, um, couplets are doing a little bit better here. But let's just double check. And the, this is the 1.0 version over here. 140 to 90. Hmm. I'm getting data all over the place. Let's check my boost blocks uh, up here. The little quad blue, blues block. Booze block. 229. 250, hmm, 290. See, these are a lot more consistent. 170, hmm. And yet these are, these are Boost Blocks 2.0, uh, a bit more consistently uh, productive, but still uh, pretty darn good. Oh yeah, so yeah, these guys are at a loss for lumber here because all of that's being used up for that. I'm glad I told some of my uh, guys to start buying it up. And yeah, I have no clue what, I was, what I'm going to be doing with all these nomads. But again, this is sort of a uh, uh, accept them because I can type of thing. And hey, you know what? It got us our uh, it got us our uh, achievement. So that's that's what's important right there. Yeah, all these free laborers—they're just going to be bringing every scrap of whoop. Now, break of dysentery. All right. <laughs> Disease always seems to follow the nomads. So, who is patient zero? We've got Reanimary. Reanimary. I guess their parents couldn't decide on a name and they just went with both. Okay, Reanimary. Get ye to a doctory. And cover your mouth. Nope. All right. We're going, we're going. Right, heading to the duct house. Oh, the uh, tunnel's done. Oop, and an infestation. Where are you going? Oh, you're going down this tunnel. I see. Hiding underground. Ooh, okay. Uh, plums, it looks like. Could be plums. Could be... Could be these. I'll cut them both. Okay, well, let's take a look at our uh, plague progress here. Burton and Dilda. 
Right, they're making their way to the doctors. Unfortunately, uh, this is my this is one complaint is that when they're infected, they will continue their job and uh, continue walking. Oh, or they're just going to a distant doctor for some silly reason. All right, well that works too. I mean, there's only a couple of infected, so I can't imagine this doctor over here is full. Yeah, seven patients, that's it. So it's just a matter of them getting cured fast enough before the, uh, the disease spreads to a passerby. Heh. <laughs> yeah, I kind of did just build the graveyard next to the hospital and didn't even realize I was going to do that. Oh, well, fitting. Although no one's died from this yet, so that's always a good sign. Oh yeah, nice to have this big old patch of land right here. Now that I uh, now that I don't need that, let's uh, let's get some food growing. Um, do I want that or do I want a pasture? I think I want a pasture because I'm buying all of my fruits and vegetables. I can uh, I can just flesh out the, no pun intended, meat part of my economy uh, by doing pastures. Alright, well we're not getting a one and done like we did that other illness that broke out, but it, I think we have enough hospital capacity for the moment. Knock on wood. Ooh, we are out of stone. We are out of stone. I have, it has been ages since I've run out of stone. Hey, traders, you got any stone on you, buddy? No. Go away. Do you have any stone on you? No, but that's fine. Oh, I am actually out of stone. Hmm. Well, it's a good thing there's, uh, this, this whole area over here is, uh, is sort of a, a stony area. Boy, I haven't harvested resources in, gah years <laughs> I have all this stray stone lying around here probably some stray iron I haven't had the need felt the need to, to go uh, manually harvest it but it looks like this is high time to do just that yeah might as well uh, waste not want not that should be good Well, the plague is starting to spread, but at least over time, people will get inoculated against it, and uh, it won't. Uh, it won't do. Uh... Oh, someone has died. Well, shoot. And here I thought I had enough hospital coverage, and I probably do. I have like four hospitals, and there's only 20 people sick. A single hospital could handle all of that. All right. Another dysentery death. Uh, let's get some more. Let's get some cattle going here. Get a herdsman. Good. This is like the plague tunnel right here. And ironically, my hearts have gone back. My average hearts have gone back to five. I guess only the really sickly people are keeling over. Wow, that stone got snapped up quickly. I wonder why with the 132 laborers. Do I have any other? I do. I well, might as well grab it. And we don't need to grab surface iron right now. All right. Yeah, still more people uh, getting that. All right, well, you know what? I think I'm going to uh, put a pause here. So uh, when we return, we will see the uh, construction of additional housing here. Um, we certainly were able to get the nomads housed, probably because of all these boarding houses. And we'll see how... Uh, 
how Ficklewood uh, fights off this nasty case of dysentery that seems to be uh, sticking around and uh, expanding slowly, not uh, not quite the fever pitch that it did uh, in previous plagues. But we'll see how Ficklewood handles. But yes, we have we have officially hit 900, so uh, hooray! Uh, I am going to continue on until I officially fill the map. That is my stated goal for this uh, for this Let's Play. So don't think this is going to be the last episode, although we are uh, approaching uh, the, the final episodes. But I'll let you know and uh, have a special treat for you guys at the end. So if you like this video and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like and by all means, leave me a comment. Your feedback, good, bad, and indifferent, is always appreciated. So until next time, this has been Pinstars, signing out. Have a good one.